the forge has gone quiet, the bellows blow no more. The forge has gone quiet, the smiths have gone home. Only fading embers remain, and my hearth grows cold. One kiss from you to rekindle it all. For episode 40 of Queen of Embers, and where we left off, you were in the Steadwall Mountains through a series oh. of bad rolls. Very bad rolls. Things took a turn for the dangerous. That's right. The dangerous. Chaos. You can see that far from where you're at. Here in the mountains. It's a generous amount of wind passing through the narrow, the few you feel alone. But if you notice along the path, in your case, Elisa, because you have to understand secret signs, there seems to be more and more of these plinths. In fact, there's a pair of plinths on either side of the pass here in this riverbed, and you can see this old wooden bridge, a broad bridge, in fact, that seems to um, that seems to be um, stretch from one edge of the pass to the other, and you bring the Madeline and the bring the Madeline and the Oxen to a halt and you discover as you begin to walk forward and kind of look and you can see that this bridge seems a very very old bridge that seems to span about a 60 foot length uh, between here and this long fissure that kind of winds down into nothingness and you can see somewhere far down below like mist that likely is coming from a river or a creek or something like that, but it's far down, at least 100 plus feet. What kind of bridge is this? It appears to be made of this very heavy old timber that's turned gray and weathered with time. It is affixed directly into the rock, and it's very broad. It's about as broad enough for probably six horsemen to pass across, which means it's very precarious for this great wagon that is supporting the, uh, the uh, Madeline in the team of oxen that pulls it. We got to cross that. That's right. So, uh, should we all get off it in case it crashes? And you were worried about locks. <laughs> locks? Yeah, on the bridge. Oh, yes. <laughs> the wood is literally turned to gray, almost like the stone surrounding it, because it's been here for so long. Massive timbers that were laying from one side to the other and affixed into the stone. And you can see what looks like these kind of trellises on either side that kind of jut into the mountain. I reckon so, I can take a look at it, see if it's a little barren. Well, probably for, yeah, all right. Can't hurt. I got a, I got a simple idea, too. Is that'll work. We take the reserve oxen and we go across with them first. Judge the weight. I'll take a look at the, the wood, the, the bridge. See what I think of it. Okay. You kneel down. It's going to be a secret tradecraft test. Okay. So I have a 39% chance to succeed. And I rolled 80. Keep or I'll keep it. Okay. Well, the the... The wood is, I mean, it's big timber. It's probably, you guess, about five foot wide timbers. But they're thick. They're really thick. And they're likely made from a heartwood tree, you'd imagine. They appear to be nicked and scratched and splintered here and there from time. And there's deep kind of crevasses within the wood itself um, over time. Wind has battered this thing. 
wind has swept through this entire veil for some number, number of years and it's beaten against this bridge. As a matter of fact, when you get near the bridge, you can feel the wind just almost tug your, tug your shirt, tug your cloak off your neck almost as this wind just kind of, kind of, kind of comes through at a very quick pace. Well, I mean, things been around for who knows how long. Uh, I reckon it probably doesn't take a load like this every day, but Warren pauses, gives it, gives it a, a whack. I think it'll keep, but that's it. I just think. Again, do you think we should leave the reserve box and over first? Let me put it this way: I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't want to be on that bridge when that that Madeline's going over. I say yeah. we drive the drive is it, the. Is ox. it wide enough? I'll get off. I, I say we drive the the the. Uh, That's what I want to know. Sammy takes out a yardstick and he's starting to measure. That was a good sign. It's going to be a narrow one. Yeah. Get off. So. We can't just run 60 yards. We can't just run 60 feet out and tell the oxen to come our way. We ain't got no sheepdog to drive them. I rustled up a bit. I mean, isn't that what me, that's what Warren and, uh, hey, Bigley is? We lead them with your horse, but... Quit pointing your finger at me. I don't like that. Well, you've been helping Bigley with the... Uh, well, I've been helping. I'm not going to risk it. Well, I'm saying you'd be a pro. Well, it's with the oxen, without the Madeline. That's what we're trying to get you. You said you didn't want to be on there with the Madeline. We're trying to give you what you want, Warren, and you're fighting us on it. I'll help. That's what I'm saying. I know how to handle an animal. Something tumbles off the top of the Madeline and crashes onto the ground. As the rope falls over, is thrown over the edge, and the barrister is coming down. Um, maybe you should stay up. Uh, no, no. Oh, she, she need to talk to that one. She don't listen well. The Which trunks one? are coming undone up top. Wolfgang is not looking good. Uh, because of the wind. Uh, all right, let me. Why don't, why don't we both go back up there, and I'll help you with your trunks. I'm thinking we take over everything that we can, make it as light as possible. Anything that ain't nailed down, we take over ourselves. Use the oxen, the reserve oxen to carry over everything that's sure. not nailed down, the trunks, everything. You know we're going to be in absolute, the worst, easily ambushed spot mm -hmm. we possibly could. Should we make a beachhead on the other side, or whatever it's called? Boss, military talk, that I don't know. <laughs> we should go over there first with something that, even though we don't want to lose, something that is less important than the Madeline and the Barrister. I'm pointing that way, and I'm saying, the rim is 100 yards that way. We're so close, almost aren't going to need the oxen. I think the more we spend time here talking about it, easier we are in a situation we don't want to be. Look at here at this map, Sammy says. I think once we get down through here, it's about half a day down to the river. Once we cross this bridge. I think we just do it. There's all kinds of skulls and such over this map near the bridge, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a good sign. Skulls usually mean good things on, on, uh, on maps. Health? Yes, sir. Poison? Death? Pretty sure death is the only thing they usually mean. But it means a graveyard. Yes, yeah, awesome. a graveyard of sword. As he looks over the edge of the bridge, and he kicks a piece of kicks a rock over the edge, and I mean, literally, it drops down a hundred plus feet into a ravine far down below. So let's just do this, guys, because what's the condition of the bridge? We don't know. We don't Warren know. feels we can walk up and look. Warren feels pretty solid about it. You feel, you feel pretty solid about it. <laughs> the bridge seems to be sturdy enough as there you take a step out on it. It's broad. The beams are at least five foot in diameter. You know, it's about as wide as this table, these beams are. Pretty wide. It's just 
go. Bridge, the obvious bridge. rot. Bridge of this size. Uh, no, it appears to be mostly just weathered. The wood has turned gray. No rot really to speak of, but as you kind of step out on the bridge, you immediately feel this wind kind of pull at your pull at your clothes. This is going to be a problem. Gotta push that thing over. Well, wind could also push us over. How far? How far is the bridge like to cross? Sixty-ish feet, okay. if not more. I'm most worried about us being pushed over. We don't catch as much as the raw side of this thing. This is what I think we do. People need to come off of that boat. And I understand it's dangerous. If the boat's gonna topple over and go down. The ravine, I don't want people on that boat. So we send the people across first, and as soon as the people cross, as soon as the people cross, those that would drove the oxen drive it across. That means that short a time as possible that we've got people off of that ship, but they're not on it in case it tips over. So we're going to cross on foot. Right. Who's going to help me rustle up these oxen and draw them by, draw everyone across? I you know. You and I on horseback, we'll get the oxen across. So that means we need to get unpacked and loaded and moving and form a, what'd you call it? I don't know what it's called. A beachhead, a bivouac, whatever they call it. Some Something to protect the, the bears. That's right. Let's do that. Come on now, yeah, go! He spurs his horse and whoosh. He's John Marston. Yeah. I get it, John Marston points, but he's John Marston. <laughs> As he's going across, you hear the the horses, their hooves across the wood. And you pass over. Yep. The others begin to gather belongings. And as you kind of step onto the bridge on foot. Oh, we have horses, right? Yeah. Not everybody's on horse, though. Mm. You can feel this wind kind of threatening to push you over the edge of the bridge. It's very strong through here. This narrow, even narrower pass on which you would came through as it threatens to push you off the very edge. You fight against the wind and you come to the other side. If you come to the other side, Yay. you hear some sound echo through the mountains. Probably like a war horn. I bet. We gotta get that thing over. <clears throat> That's for them. You and me. Any of those that aren't leading, aren't leading the, the, the cow. We're going to be fighting them off. Now, I, Adam, don't know the term, but the term you said was beachhead, right? Yeah, but I don't know. You, you do know. You're actually... No, Terwin knows. I, Adam, don't know. The bivouac. Yeah, the bivouac. Okay, okay yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to immediately set to setting up the bivouac. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. That's why I was joking about beachhead. So who is so you all are on the other side of the bridge no setting up a, setting up a beachhead or a bivouac to protect the barrister. Meanwhile, back on the bridge, there is you and Sammy on horseback. Yeah! Starting to rouse the animals. And you hear the horns grow a little closer. Alright. You're gonna need to make a handle animal test, and he's gonna give you an assist die. This ain't gonna be easy. Alright. This test is gonna be challenging to cross the bridge, and I need to know your degrees of success. Alright, so handle animal. Uh, and I'm still ignoring one skill rank, I believe. We have that rest of this. That's right. So, normally 43, then it's a challenging rate. Yep, 33. That's a 40 
29, failure, but I get a free reroll thanks to my Year Comes the Calvary. Nice. So I'll do that. Calvary. Calvary. And that is a 13 success. And then so degrees would be 10, 1 plus my. Uh, would be in the being fellowship bonus, right? Because it's in the wind. That's right. Five. Two. What is it? A two degree? I don't know how it's reviewed. It's, it's a 10, 10, 10, 10 plus your. All right. So, Walter, I need you to do me a favor. All right. All of the initiatives that are currently on the right hand side of the thing, mm -hmm. I need you to put a 60 with a slash underneath of it, a horizontal slash, and put five. I think that won't be crossed. Okay. Or actually, the. Okay, so on the right hand side of the initiative tracker, uh, just put 60 so we know how many how, how many degrees of success we need to achieve to get the uh, Madeline and the, and the Oxen across, as uh, that is what uh, Harper and um, it's what Harper and Sammy are focusing on. Meanwhile, back to the ring. Yes, sir, you can. You're gonna track. You're gonna basically add to that five over time. <laughs> the painted well, men have an initiative of well, seven plus three, ten. So below uh -huh. Warren. So we will start literally at the top of the initiative. So on the other side, on the other side of the bridge, the bivouac. You hear horns coming from somewhere. You're not really sure where. You can hear them as well, too, where you're at. But the boat and the, o the oxen snorting in the boat, groaning and creaking as it's passing over, kind of subdues the sound for you, Harper. Mm -hmm. So it's your turn, Banneker. What will you do? We only hear them. At this point, yes. You're not sure what direction. Oh, I mean... Draw my bow and knock. Okay. So that's one AP to draw. How many AP to, to knock an arrow? One. One. Okay. All right. Elisa? Same. You're going to draw what? Bow. Harper. Okay. And then knock an arrow? Okay. Yeah. One my last one. Terwin? Come stand beside me as I draw my uh, uh, sword and shield. And then uh, as long as you're next to me and they're behind me, we fought worse than this, I'm sure of it. As uh, I will try and uh, uh, use inspiring words. Nice. Okay. So for those who can see and hear him on this side of the bivouac, uh, make your skill test. What's your current damage condition track? Uh, unharmed. Nice. Routine. Routine. Routine leadership. Leadership will be 58. And uh, 98 won't do it. It's <laughs> good idea. That's one AP. Uh, I drew my sword. Okay, two AP. Um, and I will bank my last one. Okay. Banneker, it's your turn. What will you do? Um, is there... Uh, don't hear anybody, don't see anybody, don't... There's nothing in front of us yet. You're on the other side of the mountain pass, and you can see that it's still a very narrow... <clears throat> pass through here. It's almost like that sometime the earth shifted and dropped down below into a ravine and the earth just kind of like split like this. Okay, I'm gonna, I mean, and I'm still horseback? On horseback? Yeah, you are. Okay, so now I'm, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I'm in a whole, first time I, first time I see anything, I'm, I'm losing. So you want to wait then? Yep. Okay. Harper. Move that bus. Yeah! Still challenging? Yes, challenging. Still assist? Still an assist, yes. 33 like a, uh, extreme home makeover? Or that is a 91. Or a 91. So, re-roll. Yeah! We're trying drink. to get the oxen across. And that is a 53 failure. Mm. Let's accept it. They kind of stop. They're still moving, but the... But the wind is buffeting hard against the Madeline. Uh, 
Uh, so that's one AP, or uh, that's one AP so far. Oh, so I can continue to try. Yep. Right. But now it's hard if you attempt it on the same ta- same same turn. Would I be able to take my time? It takes three times the amount of time you need right. to create. I'm just saying in the future. Yes, you could. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to try a 23. That's just asking for trouble. Okay. So, so yeah. thank you for the two. Yep. All right. Alistair, you're near the bivouac. Everybody else is mounted, as are you, on horseback. I'm going to ride towards the uh, towards the rear of the uh, of the Malon and watch the uh, watch the back. Okay. I don't think anybody's doing that yet, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. It's unguarded, so I'll okay. I'll pull up uh, behind and uh, I'll dehorse as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you <laughs> pop off the horse, and that's all three your AP. At this point, he disappears behind the mountain line of the horses as he on the, he's on the other side of the bridge. Warren? I'm going to draw my bow and uh, embracing my chaos uh, temperament. I'm going to sling a, uh, a slew of insults at, uh, at uh, Harper. I want to get the fuck moving and everything. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! What the fuck are you doing? Move! Right on, move! Move! Sour bite crawlers. I will, man. Some candy. Yeah. Candy time. Can't and I'll I'll look over at Warren. Can't you actually help with the oxen? Don't you actually know how to? to, to, You're you're awfully good at delegating work, you asshole. I've been I've been cooking. I've been I've been running everything, Hmm. and it's enough. I ain't doing any more. We need more bodies up here in case they come this way. All right, folks. In case. The horses, you yeah. hear the horns even closer, but you're still not sure where they're coming from. Right. You hear them on, you definitely hear them on your side, Alistair. And on the other side of the Madeline and the uh, oxen, you can hear on the other side too, but it seems to be coming from all through the mountain pass. At least it's your turn. Can I attempt any kind of eavesdrop to figure out where it might be coming from? Absolutely, you may be able to do so. Um, you may make an awareness or an eavesdrop. It will be routine for you. I'm going to do an eavesdrop. Routine. He's continuing to argue with them. Um... Okay, so uh, 52 <laughs> routine puts me at 62. Good. And a 58 will do it. Nice. You hear something. Somewhere out there, there's this low growling, but you're not sure from where. Wait, as you turn around, you realize it's in front of you, in front of the bivouac, down, further down the pass across the bridge. Not only that, <coughs> it's coming from the other side as well. It's coming from both sides. Some some creatures ahead of us and behind. He's down the path. I can hear growling. That's them. It's not human. They are. As soon as they, and she's gonna take aim down the path. As soon as that gets across, I want anybody who's known as anybody who's essential up to the ropes. And if you have the, uh, um, well, if you have the, uh, I don't know, I'm having a brain fart right now. Ranged? <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Just, just forget it. And, uh, <laughs> can I use a, Can I use take aim without an actual target? And just no. It's down that way. All right. And then I will bank the other two AP because I assume it was one for the use drop test. That's right. Tara was <laughs> asking me to do it. <laughs> it's your turn. I am not good with beasts. Hey, enough of you. Enough of you happen. Quit arguing. You can argue once we're over if we survive. Yeah. He he looks you up and down. Um, you've got a bow. What else are you arguing with? That's it. You're gonna need this. 
Because you're standing up front with me. As uh, he hands you over his uh, uh, fire hardened spear. Okay. Takes it. Just use it after you lose your first one. And stay to my side. You'll be alright. So, how many action points is that? It's two. Two. Okay. Enough, you happen. We're in this together. We'll make it out together. As I'll try to use inspiring words once more. Sounds standard. Standard. Will be a 48. Uh, 54 just won't do it. Shucks. Everyone seems to be a little bit on edge. Yep. I don't know, Chairman. Maybe we should leave this tough behind and hide. If it gets to it, we will. I'm not going to have people dying for it. All right. Good to hear. And to restart this, actually. It's one thing that Cyrus gets sometimes fails out, unfortunately. So, uh, Banneker, it's your turn. What are you going to do? Is, it, is there anything in front of me? You're not seeing anything. No one is out there. You can hear the sounds of the war horns in the hills, and of course, at least this is in front of us, and it's behind us. That you're watching and waiting out in the open on the horseback, and you've seen nothing as of yet. Can I take my. Absolutely. And, and, see, and see what I see? You begin scanning the mountainside, looking toward where the you could see rock kind of sliding down rubble, where you would suspect that would be a footpath. Go ahead and make a routine awareness test. Okay. I thought that, that's what it would be, but I didn't want to make it. Banneker went over the mountain to see what he could see. <laughs> the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. We're coming around that mountain. I got a 61% chance, and I rolled a 10. Nice. Yes. So you spy on the mountainside, maybe... 18 yards ahead of you, you can see rubble coming down, almost like there's someone ready to descend the hill, or some people ready to descend the hill, but you've seen nothing yet. All you can see is like rubble kind of like scree and rock falling down from some host you would suspect. I'll point it out to everyone. Looks like they're coming from this way. See the rock falling? Those you follow all of those with ranged weapons, keep your eyes on that. They're incredibly close now. <laughs> what else will you do, Banneker? Nothing to shoot at. I don't know what else to do. Okay. Hard I mean, besides the fact that uh, I can't inspire anybody. You know, hold your AP then? Surrender yeah. your AP? Well, I mean, I, I lose them because it's the top. Well, that's already done and passed. That's oh, already done and passed. Now, oh, then I'm, yeah. I'll hold, my, I'll hold my two. Okay. Harper, what will you do? Uh, I'm going to take my time moving up and down the lines, trying to get all these oxen. Standard test. Oh, that is a 44 critical failure. Oh, no. Oh, is it standard now? Yeah, it's standard. Then that'd be 53. That'd be critical success. Nice! All right. <laughs> you may triple the value. So take your tens die, add it to your fellowship bonus, and multiply by three. All right, so eight times three. Nice! So move it from uh, 29. That's right. Suddenly they start to move and then. And then they attack. Uh, yeah, but at least they're halfway across the bridge now. I was like, crap, I can't re roll that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, 30. I was, I was there. Well, keep taking your time. Yeah, no. You know they're getting closer, Banneker. You can feel it. Alistair, it's your turn. I'm considering knowing, noticing that I'm the only person who went to this side. Yes. And I'm like alone. 
That's right. And I've got the horse here, and I've dismounted off the horse. Mm -hmm. As I lock my uh, my weapons into place, I'll sort of give the horse a pet on the side, and I will look to go to the side of the road and hide within sight of it. Oh, smart. Okay, so roll a secret stealth test. My stealth chance is... My standard stealth chance is 59. And I rolled a 11. So oh, oh, oh. That is a critical will, success. I will take that. To you hunker that down way. near rocks, near the edge of the bridge on the other side, where you had originated from, and you can see the Madeline getting further and further away from about 29 feet out now. Is it pretty... Uh, yeah. do, we just, do we see his horse come back? What? Uh, just hanging, it's it? just hanging. Oh, okay. Just, oh, yeah. you so he's slowly. No, I comforted it. Oh, okay. Warren, what will you do? I'm using it as. I'll sort of continue to wait. Bait. 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 Makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, horse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alistair's more important. <laughs> now it's the paint and men's turn. <laughs> Seventeen. This rock comes flying from out of where you're nearby. You see it crack, hit the horse right in the neck. This rock about as big as a bowling ball. Shit. And the horse is hit. Twenty-one damage. Um, the horse. Collapses over, slain instantly. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't think it's slain instantly. What's the stats on a large animal? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fucking dead. Do, 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 do you yeah. know? It's fucking dead. It's uh, brown bonus is like four. Yeah, it's brown bonus is four. So it'd be four, ten, sixteen, twenty-two. Oh, it's not dead. Uh, it's seriously wounded. The horse staggers yeah. back. Hit by this rock, and your eyes kind of widen. You see the horse just stagger back, hit by this huge stone. And then suddenly, from your vantage point, Banneker, you can see them begin to descend down from the hills. There's this thud, 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 as these men, at least twice your height, begin staggering down the side of the mountain. There's four of them. And your eyes kind of, you kind of, for a moment, you're almost frozen, like, what the fuck am I looking at? And you can feel your stomach kind of drop out. And you all kind of look that way, save for Harper, and then like, you see these people who are painted head to toe in a variety of colored woad. There was one in blue, there was one in red, there's one in orange, and there's one in green. And these... Great men, as best could be described, are soaringly tall. So tall that they would easily meet your gaze mounted upon horseback. So tall as they are. One could say they're giants. Painted giants. They might be. They might be giants. <laughs> Are they? Are they? Maybe they wouldn't. <laughs> they might be big. No, they might be lice. They might be I great, great, big, know. big lice. And they look a bit like this. They appear to be. They appear to be unarmored. They appear to wear nothing to hide their modesty. They appear to be very, very tall, and their sex is hanging out. Men and women as they're kind of coming down the side of the mountain. And they seem to be armed with a variety of rude-looking implements, including this one who has what looks like a tree trunk affixed with a, with, a, with a pair of rocks tied to either end of it in the fashion of a Morgan Stern. And as the four of them kind of slide down off the edge of the hill, one of them, he, he yells out. He growls very loudly. In fact, and, and they seem to say something, but you're not really sure what they're saying. 
but as they come, they slide down the hill, and that's the end of their turn as they're on the other side of, of where you're at. They're near the bivouac, about 18 yards out. Nice. Elisa, what are you going to do? Is it 18 yards? Yes. It's my distance, 9 plus. So I have a 16 on my bow. Distance. So it means it would be a medium distance. Yeah. Well, depending on advance that are. They're 18 yards out, so they're, uh, if your range is 16, they're at medium distance. Yep. yep. So uh, she's going to attempt to take shot. Okay. You've got your bow. Are you going to just make a ranged attack? That's it? Uh, so she's going to take a ranged shot at them. She's going to reload her bow and then try to take cover. All right. So you take your bow and you loose one arrow. Kind of it sails out there. Uh, it's going to be a uh, challenging test. Okay. So 52. So then 42. 81 will not do it. Okay, the arrow falls short. Snack! Breaking as it hits the ground. I'll take my action now. Oh, uh, you can't. Just finish her action. Oh, once she's done, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Then, so, uh, Lisa, you're going to load, and then what are you going to do now? Take cover. Are you still on your horse? Um, I guess she... I didn't think she would have been. Okay. When she jumped off... When she got to the edge of the bridge, I assumed she would have gotten off. Okay, that's fair enough. So, you go over to a nearby rock and take cover, which is probably smart. Uh, if you would, Walter, move Warren between Elisa and Tara. What will you do? I will take a shot. So we're ranged. Okay. Actually, I'll aim and then take a shot. Okay. What is your distance on your weapon? Uh, 15. Okay. So it's going to be standard test for you. Okay. You manage to strike the one that is dressed entirely in blue paint head to toe. The one covered in this kind of thick, pasty looking woad. Is he is moderately wounded. You want to roll for that? You may roll for injury. Okay. 1d6. 1d6. That's two. The painted folk do not suffer any injuries when they are struck by the arrow. Anything else you wish to do, Warren? I'll make my last AP. Okay. Banneker! Or sorry. Terwin, my apologies. Terwin, what will you do? You're 18 yards out. Uh, Terwin will continue to hold the line, and uh, uh, he will bank all three action points. All right. And you're, I'm sorry, you're holding, banking, you're waiting, or are you banking? Banking. Banking, okay. Harper? All right. You locks in, you got a good oh, move, let's keep banker. moving. You skipped it. Okay. Sorry, my ball. How about you move up? That's all right. No, I move up to start. Oh, oh okay, that's when the map disappeared. So, okay, sorry. Yep, yep. What are you going to do? Uh, I am going to use... Uh, I already have my arrow knocked. That's right. So I'm going to um, aim and fire. And uh, I am still I am remaining on horseback because I have saddle bolt. Okay. So your test is going to be standard. Add your bonus for you would normally. Okay. So that's seventy five percent chance. I rolled a fifty seven. And I did 10 points of damage. 10 points. You strike one with an arrow and it just kind of sticks 
into um, the one who is painted red and just sticks into what appears to be kind of these light furs and the thing grabs the arrow like one would grab a pin like this, a full length arrow, just grabs it and snaps it and throws it to the ground as it remains that unharmed. Almost everything that I... Alright, then I am going to... Um, um, Okay, this is my question. Uh, I have to take them down range. Can I, is that, is that a, do I have to knock and shoot to do, do I have to knock again to do that? Well, so read what take them down set it does. What does take them down do? I believe you read. You do, yes. You uh, do. It's basically using uh, a bow. Your weapon has to, to be loaded to do it. Right, your yes. weapon doesn't have to be loaded to do it. Okay. Uh, so well, then mm, I screwed up here. I was going to do that way first. Then. It's okay. You do it next time around. Uh, sure. So I'll bank, um, and I'm actually going to, am I in front here or in the back? Uh, you're kind of collected among one another. You're kind of a little shoulder to shoulder. Some on the horseback, some on foot. Okay. I will stay upon horseback so I can move if I need to. Stay next to me. All right, and then we will move on Shit. to Harper. That's true. All right, got to protect the bastard. Let's keep that momentum. You gonna take your time on this one? Yes, I will. Okay, standard test. All right. So I'll get fifty-three. That'll be an O one critical success. Nice, another one. Wow. So triple your results. So it'd be zero plus the four, then times three. That's right, twelve. So at twelve on twenty-nine. Forty-one. They're more than halfway across at this point. Ten? No. No. It would be a zero. Uh, no. Nope. Ten is ten. Oh, the better your skills, the, the better your skill, the more likely you are to net more degrees of success. Yeah, you can't get a ten because then it'd be a hundred. The hundred dollars. Best you could do is nine. Yeah. All right. So right. Nine plus whatever. So. So the higher skill. Level. Uh, getting across. That's definitely good. Uh, Alistair. You see the horse stagger back from being struck by a rock. And the horse is going to, it seems to almost fall off of its feet. And then you can see something kind of emerge from near the hillside, one of them at least. How far away? Uh, we'll say about 10 yards. Is that close enough for me to uh, surprise him? I'm jumping? Uh, yep. Can you hustle up there fast enough? Yeah. Well, uh, let's see, I have a movement of nine. So you could charge and strike if you wish. So charge and then attack. But can I charge and use knockout? That's the question. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what mm-hmm. I'm going to do. Okay. Just come out of nowhere. All right. Came out of nowhere. So I'll charge. You <laughs> charge for. It's a, it's a trivial test. You leap, you grab a hold of the thing, you grab onto its waist, you climb up its chest and kind of whack to smack it right in the square of the jaw, this strange looking painted fellow. Right. Yeah. Oh, you said it's a routine test? Uh, trivial. Trivial. Yeah. Trivial athletics. 95%. <laughs> I believe in you. 35. Success. Yeah. Well, bam! You hit it as hard as you can with your fist, and it kind of... Yeah. Yeah. It makes a groaning sound, mm-hmm. and then... Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Collapses to the ground. These things must be at l- at least eight and a half feet tall. That's big. Wow. So that's uh, all three AP. Capture with the warrior. He is KO'd for nine rounds. Nine, to nine minutes. You know, whatever it's brawn bonus minutes. Yeah. Okay. So if you would erase Warren off the off there, so I don't mistake that he's the yeah, sure. minute. Thank you. Um, and now it is their turn. So the one that is n- the one that is nearest, um, the one that you knocked out, which is painted yellow, is KO'd. One of them got struck by an arrow, was moderately wounded. Um, that one begins to storm forward, charging. <laughs> It comes up with this huge mallet. It kind of swings upward. 
and you can see that it takes this wide, sorry, now swinging up, but it kind of swings wide across everybody. Did it actually charge, or did it not Oh, it absolutely charged. No! So who wants an opportunity attack against it? Uh, Maybe someone with a uh, <laughs> reach weapon. Yeah. <laughs> not holding it right now. That's right. I'll take it. The only one that has a melee. Yeah. Well, okay, go ahead. All right, so Terran, you get an opportunity attack. All right, uh, difficulty? Uh, it's going to be routine. Routine will make it 70. Uh, 46, I succeeded at something. Woo! Nice! <laughs> Roll <laughs> damage, Terran. First two, nine. Uh, two plus seven is nine. All right. Sounds like a uh, great start. We have additional DC. Uh, no, you don't. I'm sorry. Nah, okay, so you uh, lunge forward with your spear, and it does little to, to... It can't pierce the strange, leathery hide of this thing as it, the spear almost threatens to break as it bends beneath the weight. I'm using my sword. Oh, your, uh, so oh, your, your sword. Does your sword okay. have reach? No. No, okay. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, I thought someone had reach with him. Okay. He does, but it's not a uh, Yeah, that's right. Oh. Okay. Now I see why. I thought... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was doing breach. That's good. Yeah. I didn't do any enough damage anyway. Then. Right, yeah. right. That's right. All right, so it swings. Charges to swing. That's right. And then let's see. Let's check. How did I? Okay. We'll see. We'll see. It charges in, and you see it. Whoosh! Whoosh! As it swings its great hammer down toward Terwin. Hi, Terwin. I have an 80% chance to hit you. Okay. I rolled a 73. Okay, I will attempt to carry. Okay, it is going to be a challenging test. Okay. Do you have your shield equipped? I do. Yeah. Got a 60% chance. And uh, 83 won't do it. Okay. Oh. Crash! The the weapon comes down. It inflicts one for charge, two for its size, six, ten, twenty-one damage. Twenty-one damage. Smash! I'm gonna go down to moderately wounded, and then I'm gonna use a fortune point to bring myself back up. Okay. Make a toughness test. As the weapon crashes down into you, as you bear against it with your shield. Okay. Uh, difficulty? Uh, it's going to be root stand, or sorry, uh, challenging. Challenging will make it 51. And uh, 66. Critical failure. The shield <laughs> splinters in hand, falling loose from your arm. One of them stands back and. Wow, wow. Swinging this huge, like, handheld sling in two hands, and and you can see it kind of hurtle out this stone with this rope behind it, and heads out. We'll note that we didn't roll injury on him because of his professional trait. Correct. Nope, that's uh, that's serious wounds. That's right. Uh, he has a talent. No, that's that's yeah, what I'm saying. That, yeah. That's why we do. So there's a talent no, that does I moderate injury. Special yeah. treatment. Uh, I'm not injured. Okay. So he's good. A stone hurtles out toward the bivouac as it seems to strike without care. Hi there. This is for, uh, this is gonna attack, <clears throat> excuse me, this is gonna attack, uh, Banneker. I have a, um, uh, 50% chance. 64, but I think I'll use a misfortune point to reroll. Okay. It's a hard test. Can I use the horse to parry? <laughs> you have parry range. You have odd range. 80%. Dodge. Unfortunately, the uh, the air the rock falls short as you <laughs> you pull the horse out of the way, oh, and you and the horse yeah, yeah, yeah. are free of that. Another stone <laughs> comes soaring down toward your area too. So it's between you two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Sorry, one to three. I mean, four, I'm six. Towards you. Fifty percent chance. 
92. Roll misfortune point. Should we roll again? 42. That's a hit. I'll dodge. Okay, uh, your chance to dodge something of this size uh, normally would be easy because of the size of it, it's going to be routine. Okay. There's a 59% chance to succeed. Okay. And that's a success. Nice. One. You. Oh, shit! You quickly move out of the way as it gets the ground beside you. You can see this bowling ball sized rock. Whack! Bounce, bounce, and off the edge of the bridge it goes. So that's why I make an AP. Always make an AP. Yeah, that means nothing. There's one remaining who's painted head to toe in this green paint and is blowing a war horn and has a some sort of wicked looking Morgan stern also at its side. Um, I didn't account for its trade on the weapon last time it hit you, but we'll ignore that for now. Okay, so we now go to Elisa. What would you do? Okay, so I've got an aeronaut. Oh, you do. Oh, go back. oh the painted men went back. Oh, got yeah. yeah. got an aeronaut, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take aim for one. Okay, uh, you are currently engaged. I'm sorry, no, you moved away to take cover when you're away. You're fine. So you're going to pop up and take aim at one of them back there with the slings. Uh, says there, there are two with slings along with the Morgenstern 18 yards away. There's one no more than a yard away from you, but you're but near your friends. Then, uh, yeah, that one's with the slings. One of them. Okay. It's going to be a challenging test for the distance here. Challenging? Or I guess it's 17 yards away from you now, technically. Like 16 is still right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take it. All right. So that drops me down to 52. 21 will hit. The arrow finds perches. Six. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so that's nine. One. What is it? Combat or? Combat. Combat. So, so Hunting mode? Are you sure about that? Yeah, what's yeah, the quality of your zone? Finesse and weak. So it's agility. Oh, agility. agility. Yes. So that's only a three. So 12. 12 damage. Okay. Yeah. 12 damage. Just 12 damage. One, two, three, four, right? Yeah, I'm just not very six. agile. Okay. How much damage did you do? Twelve. Okay. It is lightly wounded. You strike the one that is uh, holding the war horn and the Morgan Stern. It is painted green. Do you have a skill rank in warfare? I do not. Okay. Then it is, then you, it's difficult for you to declare targets at range. Then, in that case. Oh, okay. Yeah. Elisa, Elisa so you took aim, you fired. What else you want to do? Duck back uh, in the cover? Oh, I okay. am yeah. going to... Go you must always you must maintain cover, meaning you if you wish right. to take cover every turn, you do that. Uh, I will bank this time. Alright, Warren. I'll drop the bow armed with a spear. Okay. It's one AP. And I will uh, attack. Okay. You one simple melee. Swing around and ha It's going to be a routine test for you. Okay. So things big. Fifty eight percent chance to succeed. That's a success with twenty four. Okay. Roll damage. Big one, big one. That's going to be a seven. Wow. As he presses his spear out and lunges, catching this one of the painted folk at a, at a, a moment where you're almost surrounding it, and the, 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 the spear just threatens to snap as you lunge forward. It does nothing to penetrate its thick skin. Okay. I'll Stone like last. skin. Thank the last eight. You see a prick of blood trickle down, but other than that, nothing. Terrible. I will uh, go ahead and uh, uh, t take aim uh, by pointing my uh, mortuary sword uh, straight at his uh, abdomen, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll come around and swing towards his uh, towards his abdomen. Okay. Routine. Okay. Uh, routine will make it. Just mod modify your take aim, obviously, on your your end. Of mine. Okay. Um, so that's an addition to routine, or uh, I call the routine difficulty rating. So, add yeah. your add your take aim yourself. Okay, so that'll be eighty percent, and a uh, thirty four will succeed. A vicious slash, but no AP remaining to dodge or parry. Save for the fact I only spent two. Yeah. Oh, you mean him? Yeah. Okay. I think it'll succeed. Uh, 
there's an explosion. Oh no! Please. Oh no! Another explosion. Another explosion. Five. Whoa! Uh, so that's 12, 17, plus 7 is 24. 24? Oh, 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 oh. should be at least two. It is grievously wounded, however, yes. it will only ever suffer moderate injuries. Okay. For it is a... a uh, Still three of dice. Be grim. So, yeah, roll 3d6 plus whatever additional dice six you have for punching yeah. your castle forge. It's a vicious weapon, meteoric iron weapon. Burr. How many? 5d6. 5d6. That's right. And there's a six. Oh, injury time. Roll percentile. Big one. Big one. Big one. This is where you want the whammy. Yeah, That's where you got want 85. The Nice. Yeah. This is where you want to roll like, uh, roll like yourself. Yeah. 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 99 critical failure. 100 be great. Right about that. Oh yeah. no! As he bring, as he takes the sword in both hands and it makes a vicious slash upward, you can see the thing ball over and it suffers a strained groin. Should have worn pants. That's right. Yeah. Now on that, seeing that. Uh, um, you know, this could be something that turns the tide of battle. I will say, see that? They're just like us. They bleed the same. They take pains the same. We've got this. The river's right over there. Because I'll try to uh, use inspiring words. Nice. Uh, I think that's appropriate. Make a make an easy test. Risky okay. though. Easy test. Listen to my words. Easy they are meaningful. Yeah. Sixty-eight. And uh, 94 won't do it. Uh, <laughs> we find it. We find it. Uh, look at how fucking tall they are. <laughs> you stabbed the thing in the dick and you didn't even die. <laughs> I want to reroll it, but I think I should save those. Meanwhile, nobody saw me climb one more shadow of the colossus. No, I know. There was kind of a boat between Anything them. else you wish to do, <laughs> Terrible? That's all three of my AP. Okay, Banneker. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so you're I, on horseback. Am right? I engaged though? You are, yes. You are indeed. Uh, and then, so my next question, because I, I, if if I drop my bow and fire at this with my pistol, is it get an opportunity to die? Is that a bug board? Can I ask? Uh, so yeah, you've been asking questions. So dr- switching weapons doesn't provoke any opportunity right. attacks Shoot whatsoever. Range weapon and melee. Uh, no, melee. no, only movement. Only move it provokes. And it is an example of your wish to maneuver away on a horse and cost you three AP and not two. Because you always add, add what's called a rider AP to do any sort of movement actions on a horseback. Save for those who have the trait. Junkie. That's right. So, um, well, then I am going to drop my bow. Okay. Uh, all right, that's fine. Um, roll a d6. If it comes up phase six, will be broken in combat. Okay. Horses, giants. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So you pull your pistol for one AP. And what, what kind of pistol do you have? Flintlock. Okay, so it can be loaded. All right. Yeah. So you pull the hammer back. What do you want to do down? Bang. Okay. It's a hard test. Hard test. You have friends near you. Now you may wish to. Here's the thing. You. I guess. Let me, let me paint this a better picture. Portrait here. So you may. You may have two choices. Uh, when you make a range attack like this. You can just ignore the fact you may shoot your comrades and get a better difficulty rating, or you could take care not to hit them. Okay. If you take care not to hit them, you only hit them with a critical failure. If you just don't care and you miss, you hit them on a miss or a critical failure. Okay, well, I'm going to take care. Okay, so that makes it a hard test. All right. Sorry, it's challenging anyway because I'm on horseback. We're good. So that's a 65% chance, and I rolled a 52. Nice moves. Blam! You pull the trigger, and you may immediately, uh, uh, you immediately intimidate them so they suffer from litany of hatred. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I was like, "Come on, it's <laughs> gunpowder, right?" Explosions. Oh nope, nope. You re-roll that. Explodes on ones and sixes. That's right, gunpowder. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So one yeah. plus. <laughs> seven. Seven. Okay, ten plus five, fifteen. Nice. Blam! You pull the trigger and it's slain. Not nice. 
pop, pop. <laughs> the thing staggers back and forth and drops the solid good. thud, thud. As it collapses to the ground, the one that is clad in blue. And there's this sound of anguish coming from the others as it is slain. <laughs> <laughs> Vanneker, like your turn is over, I believe. You want I have one AP left, and I am going to keep it. Okay. <laughs> Harper, what will you do? Alright, you get across! Take the take my time, get standard. Okay. Box of the cross, 53. That is a, we'll do a 32. Nice! Okay. Uh, which succeeds. And then, so that would be seven. So Walter, mark seven up there. It's now 48 feet across. It's coming, it's coming. It's just like slow. Two, cr two crits that we're, he's still not going to get hurt until our corpses are around the You guys are fine. You got this. You don't need me. Yeah, besides the fact that you look and you're like, what the fuck are those things? Alistair, what will you do? Okay, so... you got to warn this one. You... You climbed up it and knocked it cold. You cold knocked it out. Just bam! It goes spinning and falls to the ground. I realize we didn't calculate his uh, physical peril. Does it matter? Uh, knockout is not unless you want to kill it. It, does, it did physical well. I am going to kill it. Then you did not calculate. Yeah, it then, yeah. I'm yeah, going. I'll dry. reach down with my like left hand with the, with the knuckle dusters, hold its mouth, and like just touch it in the throat with the sesame okay. and punch it through. They're just kind of like kill it. Go. thunk thunk. Crack the sound of a of a of a corn cob being split in half. You collapse its lair, Nix. So that's two AP. All right. Sorry, one AP. My apologies. And then you beat your soul. All right. Be basic and pure. Blood for the blood god. Uh, with that, I will I will listen to hear if I hear any other uh, giants approaching from this side. Oh, good idea. Roll Wait, the tree line. Yeah, make an awareness test. This test will be easy. Alright. That'll be a 62% chance. Red is always first. Uh, critical failure. I definitely hear something. Hey. <laughs> there is something. They're wrong. all over the place! <laughs> you can hear sound coming from all over, and you kind of tense up, realizing that you're alone on this side, um, as you will suffer uh, 11 mental peril. You can have tense and freeze up and you realize you're completely isolated. That's one AP. You have one remaining. Well, I'm certain that something is coming, so I'm going to resume my old hiding place. Okay. I'm going to go back to the rocks. Okay. Make a stealth. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, good move, man. Yeah. Uh, 33, potentially? That's a critical success. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Here's the painted men's turn. You can't yeah. hear shit, but goddamn, they can't find you. Yeah. <laughs> that's how, that's how I'm good. The ones with it's slings so immediately drop their slings, and they begin bum rushing forward, charging with bare hands. With the third one, with the Morgenstern leading the charge. Boom, 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 boom. The one with the Warhammer brings it, or Morgenstern brings it down. <laughs> Swinging down toward, eh, we'll assume terrible. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi there. I'm gonna eat some no oh, do I get to attack it? Uh, your ranged weapon? I have a uh, spear. 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 Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, make an opportunity attack. This okay. test uh, will be routine for you. That's, okay. that's gonna be the D for chase. Well, see. And that's a miss. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> you lunge forward. Crash! It brings it down over you. Uh, it did. It did. Oh, you yeah. don't have any AP. I do. I have one for lightning reaction, as I'm going to turn the test. Be sure to recalculate your pair now. You don't have a shield. Uh, okay, 60%. Uh, it's um, challenging. Challenging. Okay, 50%. Uh, zero nine will succeed. Nice. <laughs> he brings it down. And he. <laughs> you grab the weapon like at the other. <laughs> <laughs> Just ganging up on Terran at this point. Oh no. That's an 80% chance. That's a 52, that's a hit. You dodge, you want to parry this? Nope, I don't have any more. Okay. And the other one. 
So 62. Crap, crap! So, two for size, one for charge. You got fate points. Ooh, an explosion. Two explosions. Oh, yeah. 12, 15, 15. 14. 14, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, plus 10, 33 damage. I have to use a fate point. That's what I thought. Otherwise, yeah. you would be slain. He's... Since the Mortal Kombat, the X ray. <laughs> <laughs> you stagger back. <laughs> As you're struck once. The other one. Fuck you. Uh, by the way, uh, I'll wait to resolve this. How much? So no explosions that time. 8, 9, 10, 11. 21 damage. 21 damage will knock me down to seriously wounded, okay. and uh, Whap! as I as I roll with the punch, uh, using my adaptation uh, order alignment, I'm going to move back up to moderate. Nice, well done. Give yourself a bonus reward points. Um, so we need to resolve your injury first. Nope. Nope. I'm immune to serious injuries. It always does grievous injuries. I'm immune. Okay. Those grievous? What is grievous? What's that? What's doing? Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. It's not grievous. Not yet. My apologies. Sorry. Yeah. They're not armor weapons. Bare fists. Okay. Yeah. So However, start. as this happens, <laughs> he's bowls back twice as you're pushed out of the engagement. Okay. Right. Staggering back. Uh, that would normally be all three of their AP, but I think they're going to kind of go all in at this point. One of them reaches out to snatch. The spear out of your hand with a uh, with a uh, disarm, Please. which will be a sixty percent chance. Sixty percent. Uh, that's a thirty-five. You need to resist with a, I believe, a coordination test yep. to be disarmed. That's right. So your test is challenging. Thirty-nine. And that is a ninety-five. It snatches the spear out of your hand and <coughs> throws it. Just uh, outside of easy reach. The other one will attempt to take Elisa off her feet. So take it. Actually, you're not nearby, so not you. We'll do. We'll do Banneker. You're on horseback, right? Yep. That's right. So instead of attacking Banneker, uh, it's going to attempt to actually choke the horse. <laughs> it reaches out. Okay. So this is a uh, yeah. Good things really don't 50, like 60, 70. <laughs> 80, 80% chance, 62. It grabs a hold of the horse. The horse will attempt to resist with a 25% chance. 22! Yeah, critical! It grabs the horse, horse the it grabs the horse and wraps it around its neck trying to pull you and the, the horse, horse off of it. But, it. but as it pulls the horse, the horse snaps out and bites the painted folk, giving you just a moment for an opportunity attack with the butt into your... Okay. Okay. Pistol Don't crit failure. It's a routine test. 39. Okay. <laughs> Crack! Uh, roll a d6 and add your brawn bonus to pummeling weapon. Brawn bonus, so that's the kind of thing. An explosion! <laughs> Alright, that's 11. Uh, that is 16 points. No, wait, uh, brawn, sorry. Uh, 15 points. Dang. Nice! <laughs> pistol whip, that's great. Whack! Can I roll for the horse? He pistol whips... Yeah. <laughs> he pistol whips the... Uh, no, I gave you an opportunity attack. No. He pistol whips the uh, one of these giant painted folk who comes by just kind of... And you see a few teeth kind of go... Ding, 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 kind of bouncing across the ground as this spatter of blood <laughs> across the nearby... The, the eye, and her, it's, her eyes narrow toward you. Yeah. Uh, which color one? She's like red. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, those were all my painted men. Yay! Yay! Elisa. Uh, uh, I'm gonna load and shoot. Okay. Do I take a care not to strike your fellow friends, or you just wanna? Yeah, I'm gonna try not to hit somebody. Yeah, it's hard test. Hurry hey, in the melee. Also, since they're within range, I'm going to use a take aim. Absolutely. Yeah, which they are. So, so it's a. So I'm sorry. So, so yeah, my apologies. So it is, it is a hard test. Okay. So modify whatever else you need to do. Okay. 
Okay, so, uh... Just be sure in the future to declare take aim beforehand. Sorry. Alright, uh, so 52, 62 with take aim. So 42 is not hard. 80 will not do it. Mm. An arrow. Shoo! Snap! Breaks nearby. It's okay. I actually tried not to hit you guys, so you're okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Very, very so, happy. That's all my AP. Warren? I will move to pick up a spear that is just out of easy reach. That's uh, <laughs> two AP. Okay. I'll make the last. Okay. No chances. Be smart. Chairman? I'm going to uh, charge forward towards the red one. All right. And then back in, uh, so in order to charge, you must move at least three yards. Oh, yeah, I was only on yeah. Okay, Price, then right? yeah. hustle? Yeah, I'll hustle in. Yeah, one's lightly green. Slash! And I will, uh, I just don't know which one. And one is lightly wounded. No. Two are lightly wounded, one is unarmed. Blue's yeah. dead. Yeah. Blue's dead. Oh, blue's dead. Blue's dead. Oh, oh, right. Right. Boy, blue! Uh, strike out towards mm-hmm. the Sustain your cast. Uh, this will be a 60% chance. Uh, 96 won't do it, so I'll just go ahead and miss it. Okay. Um, so that's so uh, two hustle, AP. Yeah. And then I'm going to bank the last action point. Last action point, hero. Yeah. Banneker, it's your turn. Uh, you just cold cocked this one of these, uh, one of these painted folk women across the face, fighting with bloodied knuckles that seem to be. Fitted with some leathers and bits of stone kind of underneath of it. Okay, I am going to... Does it cost to holster your weapon? Yes, 1 AP. Okay. You can drop. Are you? Yeah. Uh, I can drop my bow. Okay. I'm really scared. Alright, I'll drop the... It's dropped for free, so I'll drop the... Roll 1d6 gas pistol. Hey, that's not ruined, oh fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to drive my pistol at the foot of these horses. <laughs> and giants. Okay, uh, what will you do now? I'll pull my cudgel, and I will strike. Okay. Uh, it'll be a routine test. Oh, it's so close to it. So close to that thing. Do you, add, do you factor in your saddle board? I did. Yeah, I did. I'm so almost really. critical. I almost were clear critical. They just you rolled right at the last yeah, second. Did, no. So you didn't hit at all? No, no I hit. hit. Okay, good. Didn't crit. You bring your cudgel down. Roll damage. Aha! <laughs> explosion time! <laughs> what is going on tonight? Hello. I never hit explosions. All right, that is a nine and six. Nine and six. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, what did you roll? Six plus seven. I don't have anything light in my hand. Actually, it is 14. Do you have a uh, warfare? No. Okay. I'm just hitting the one in front of me. You clocked it. Uh, how much did you do? I'm sorry? 14. 14? Okay. It is moderately wounded, but does not suffer moderate injuries. You, mean. <laughs> you crack and crack her across the face once again, and she staggers back, moderately wounded, perhaps even more Ooh. enraged. Uh, Harper's turn, right? Yeah, Harper. Yep. Harper's gonna try, keep on trying. Yeah, come on! Get across! Looking at these oxen. We really need you Take to get a save. Yep, standard test. We really need to get you. Really need to get you. I'll take that forty. Uh, Shit, yeah, I'll take the crit. Yeah, forty-three. Forty-three. Yeah, I'll take that crit. Yeah, I'll take the crit. Yeah, I'll take the crit. I was like forty-one, and I was like, no, the crit would still be better. Zero to one. So three times. So three times four is twelve. Twelve. Okay. Oh, All right. The oxen oh, and the mountain lion have crossed the bridge. Get on the goddamn boat. <laughs> the gods. Gods. The gods. The damn boat. God, the gods. They be, boat. They, they, you managed to because you critically succeeded. You managed to keep the oxen at least. They're going a little mad, but. At this point, you hear these kind of guffaws coming from the top of the mountain line yeah. as Banneker and the other, or sorry, the barrister, Rosalia Mansfield, and the others are kind of like, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> and she goes, they're in the hills! You hear her scream, they're in the hills! She can see from her vantage point, they're coming down the mountainside! She screams, oh my god, it's a modern blast! She says, and she's pointing that way. And she's pointing that way in front of you and behind you. 
and you hear this Warhorn coming closer. Alistair, what will you do? I hear them screaming to get on the uh, on the uh, the boat. Yes. All right, I will scan to make sh to uh, convince that they're you know that they're, they're somewhere. I'm gonna look across the tree line and see if I see anyone coming. Okay. Make an awareness test. This test will be a uh, secret. Awareness is normally a forty-two for me. I got an O three. Okay. You don't feel you see anything nearby, but the hackles on the back of your neck kind of rise as you hear that war horn once more. Yeah, you don't think that they're close to this. I assume that the, uh, the horse is in no condition for their It's incredibly nervous and wickering and kind of, kind of, it's kind of scampering about in circles. He got wounded. Is it, is it capable of moving? Yes. All right. I'm going to... Mount? Yeah. 2 AP. All right. All right, you're on the horse. So, uh, but you can't go anywhere at this point, because Mount, getting on a horse is 2 AP. Let's you get, get, a, get up to 2 AP. point to get to us, to, to move. Yeah, what you need to do, man? Yeah, you do, I'll you use move. a fortune point from the pool to get one an AP left. to move the horse so, up to the... So pause for a second. Um, do you have a skill ranking coordination? Coordination? Yes. I don't think so. It's agility based. I don't. Okay. So get up is 2 AP. Yep. Okay. To move, to hustle on a horse, it's 1 rider AP oh, plus right. 1 AP for a movement action. It would be 2 AP. So yeah. it would cost you 2 AP to get moving. Gotcha. So I cannot. Uh, that's right. You'd have to use the last two. Yeah, and I can't that. use, uh, you can't use two fortune points at a time. You absolutely can. Eh, sure. let's not. All those Nick can. Friends. You can. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the woman is now reaching out toward Alistair. For a chuckle. Oh, me. Yeah. Banneker. Sorry, Banneker, my apologies to Alistair. Banneker. She reaches out. She's got a 70% oh, chance. Oh my god! She's even bigger than Ron. Uh, so she, ro I rolled and she lunges out and you kind of back the horse up for a moment and she will try once more as I use a misfortune point. 29. You may attempt to resist. It is a hard athletics. For she is big and full of terror. <laughs> and you are small and full of jelly. Okay. Um, it's a hard can I uh, hard use ride to, to put the animal between us? Uh, no, because she grabbed you, not the horse. Now, if you had a special trait, uh, such as the Degroot, the Degroot, uh, I have the answer is no, because you're not avoiding an attack. She's making a perilous stunt, so not in this case, no. Yeah. Okay. She has a long enough stuff. reach, too. What it, and what is it, a hard? It is a hard test. Okay. She was staying a chuckle a hard athletics. Nope. Okay. She grabs a hold of him and kind of Lifts him up off the horse and pulls him into a bear hug as you suffer in peril. 10 plus 18, uh, this is 15, 25 physical peril. I'm, okay, well then nobody can, all right, I'm done. I'm, You're incapacitated? Yep. She snatches him off the horse and chokes the living, chokes, the, sorry, my apologies, I rolled 2d10, it's only 1d10. I'm so sorry about that. You want me to re-roll, or you want to take the lower ten d10? You tell me. I don't care. Just take the money. Okay. I, I'll it's take ten the plus money. three, so thirteen physical okay. peril. <laughs> and she has him held fast. fast. At this point, Banneker drops everything in his hands. He's oh, kind of wrestling with this woman as he's been pulled off the horse. The horse begins bucking and wickering loudly. And then the uh, and then you see that the 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 giantess who has him, the one other one of the painted folk, who uh, is right by you, Terwin, takes two AP, uh, or actually just one AP to get down, lift up the Morgenstern that was dropped earlier by her by his comrade. Now he's got the Morgenstern in hand for one AP. For another AP, takes aim and actually, nah, he'll be a call shot. 
He uh, takes two AP and swings it around and brings it down over your head. Okay. For a seventy percent chance of success. You're gonna like this. I think it's eight feet tall. Ninety six. <laughs> How are these the misfortune points? Okay. That's a zero three. Okay, I'm hit. Crash. Brings it down. Doesn't cold matter. Shot. It's called shot. Can't dodge or parry it. You suffer ten plus. No, no action. Seventeen damage. Seventeen damage. Okay. I am seriously wounded. Oh no! And uh, uh, no injuries. No. No injuries, and I would like to. You use a it. fortune point. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. No, as no this fun. happens, as he's hit with the uh, Morgenstern, he is once again shoved backwards out of the engagement. How many of you guys got alive on you? Two, three. Three. Are they all still three still alive? I three. thought there were four total, weren't there? Okay. There was four, four to kill one. Dead. Well, he knocked out one killed one. You guys mm-hmm. killed one, so there should be two there, left. No, no, no. There was four, four on our side and one. Yeah. Oh, there's four on your side and one on the other mm-hmm. side. Uh, just... There are only three remaining. Right. To clarify. The other one that's armed with the Morgenstern, who is currently moderately wounded, yep. is also going to stri- is now going to strike out at one of the two of you. Oh, actually, not you. You, your closest. With her bare hands. Say a seventy percent chance of success. It's a ninety-four, but I think ladies have a fortune point to roll. Bare hands. Zero one critical success. Ah, Can't dodge oh. that. Nope. Boom. Oh, that is not good. Oh. That is it's only tumbling, right? Uh, five. You suffer fifteen damage. Oof. Okay, I am moderately wounded. Okay. Show me. Well, boom. And he uh, does this, and he doesn't use. She won't use the. She doesn't have the powerful quality on this. Uh, however. She's going to double up on her fist for a stunning blow for the follow-up attack. Yeah. This is also a 7 Allowing critical success. <coughs> you can't resist. Uh, you are minus 1 AP until you resist. Okay. That are all, is all my giants. Giants. On yeah. this side, the painted men, the painted folk, on this side of the bridge. On the other side... 7 plus 9. 16. I have a, a, a perception bonus of 4, so I'm probably below Harper. So Yay. put painted folk between Harper and Alistair. Okay. Elisa, it's your turn. What do you do? So I don't have warfare. You don't. But can I still look at the one that's holding Banneker right now and try to hit it? Absolutely, but if you warfare, if you miss, you're going to strike Banneker. If I miss at all. Absolutely. There's no way you can avoid hitting Banneker if you miss. That's going to be challenging. Um, and instead, I guess I'll go for the one that is moderately wounded. Well, now I won't know Worker. There's know. a red one, an orange one, and a green one. There's all kinds of stuff going on over here. Yeah, I'm going to go for one of them that's not a holy Banneker then. Okay. Ah, ah, hit... Stand still! Stand still! Too it's afraid to hit Banneker. Routine um, test. So that puts me at 62. 76 will not do it. The arrow falls short. Park it up. <laughs> Uh, reload. Okay. A couple more of these sour worms. Sour yeah. worms. Ready to spare. I am going to. Just because I think it will help. Because um, you haven't had a successful uh, firing, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to be inspiring. <laughs> We've got the wagon. We can get out of this. What's your current damage going to do? I am unharmed. Nice. Routine leadership. That is 42, 52. A 25 will do it. A 52. 
rolled it on the dot. Alright. Because I don't have leadership, so I gotta flip, right? Yep, so what's your chance to succeed? 52, and I rolled a 52. You succeed! You succeed. Everyone gets plus one damage threshold, plus one peril threshold until the end of combat. Boom! Elisa speaks! When the speaker speaks, <laughs> the listeners listen. Alright! Warren, it's your turn! And I'm banking okay. the last. I start with one less AP because I'm stunned. That's right, you want them to resist right now? Yes. Okay. It's challenging. Challenging. Oh, challenging. Tough toughness. Okay, so that's going to be oh. a 61% chance to succeed. Back in the barrel. Actually, thank you very much. 51% chance to succeed. I rolled a 30, so that's success. Nice! You managed to gather your wits before you and whew, take a deep breath, and you got your 3 AP. Use okay. your spear. Trip him. Uh, I'm going to attempt to. I'm going to aim and then attempt to disarm. Okay. Disarm. Go on the Morgenstern. If I can aim, if I can choose it. Absolutely. You can always take aim before a parallel stunt. Okay. Your chance will be challenging regardless. Challenging. Uh, You're a wee person in there, a very large, plus a very big weapon. Okay. And it's a 10 success. Nice. Or 16 success. Nice. Welcome to resist. Coordination, so 50. Sorry, 60. 86! You managed to uh, stab its fingers, uh, uh, and the Morgan's turn, clunk, drops with a solid thud, like thud thud, as both the heft of the hand, the, 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 the hammer head, and the, and the, uh, it all just falls to the ground. Okay. This is not an easy reach. I always, I always will, ask. I, I, will, I will attack it with a something melee. Okay. Just, it kind of just, raises its fists like this to try to defend right. itself. But okay. what it will do because it has no AP. Alright. So Roll the strike. This is routine. This no, routine is going to be a 58. And that's 16. Success. Big money. Big money. No way. Roll no way. damage. That's going to be six damage. Unfortunately, not enough. You guys, it kind of knocks you off of your... You're kind of wheeling on the back, what, on the back of your heel and almost slip on the screen and rock on this side of the middle whack. And you, and you, and unfortunately, it's not enough to, to drive the blow home. Take aim, fearless stunt, attack with three. Yeah. So, it's heroin. It's your attack. It's kind of reckless. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take aim towards... <laughs> The one that's got Banneker mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the chokehold. Okay. And I'm going to try and uh, cut out its ankles. Challenging. Okay, challenging. Uh, that will be 60%. 66. Oh, oh no. It grabs Banneker and throws him to the ground. As he <laughs> slides across the rock, it <laughs> lunges out with his foot for an opportunity attack. Okay. Well, still, it's accomplished. <laughs> uh, 43 will hit. All right. You will suffer 10 plus uh, 14 damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm seriously wounded. Okay. Not only is he seriously wounded, he's also shoved backwards. Out of the engagement. Do we want to <coughs> use the last action point to? Yes. Okay. Do it. <laughs> no, oh, I hope. <laughs> back up to moderately wounded. Okay. So it's still your turn, Terwin. But you are one. You are just outside the engagement as it kicks you backwards, and you almost roll over from the great weight of its huge foot. Imagine the size sixteen shoe just kind of boom right in your chest. Yeah. Knocking the wind out of you almost. Uh. I will move to engage. Okay. You step forward for what I need. And, uh, that's it. Okay. It is now Harper's turn. Harper, fortunately, the the Madeline and the Oxen are here. She has already lowered the rope. He's like, leave. You're here saying, same said, leave the horses. Just get on the damn thing. Let's get out of here. We can move faster than they go. They're too big. Right. Keep that thing moving. Don't stop for nobody. As uh, uh, how far away are is are they from where we're at? Uh, so maybe you're five yards away. We're five yards away. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see, because I don't have anything armed, so I have to arm myself. That's right. You're on the horse, and you can hear the war horns in the hills. I am going to. Uh, 
arm myself with the military lance. Okay. And shield. <gasps> you put it in the hook beside you. You can have, yeah. you pull this little... <laughs> run it through the ring. You right. run it through the ring up near the horse, mm-hmm. too. You've got the military lance locked in. Uh, and uh, just for flavor, I'm going to say... Uh, let's see here. For the sun, for the moon and the stars, for the uh, oh, Baroness, uh, and for the Queen of Durindal. All right. As I will hustle forward and I will charge. I hustle forward and I will strike out at the one that Terran is engaged he with. He pulls and there's a. <laughs> it's going to be a routine. Actually, it's a, yeah, a routine test for horseback. Routine. <laughs> Uh, 63. That is 87. It is a failure. You come forward and... <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... Damn it, we're over you here! Are, you are remain engaged. No, I was going to actually strike from one. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll ex- No, I'll be one. Because I've reached, I'll be one. Okay. You're away. <laughs> so he lunges forward with the military lance and unfortunately does not does not find purchase. The painted folk, you can hear sound coming from across the bridge where uh, previously Alistair was. Yes, my apologies, Manic or Gel. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, yeah, I was just going to let you go that time, so because uh, I'm on the ground. <laughs> um, I'm going to get up and run to the boat. Okay, so to get up is 2 AP unless you have a skill ranking coordination. Uh, I do not. Okay, so <coughs> you clamber up onto your feet and you have 1 AP left. Um, uh, shit. Can I gather any of my goods with that 1 AP? Me too. I'm not going to get up then. I'm going to gather my goods. And then I'm... You're going to spend 2 AP crawling around gathering your goods and raining prone on the ground? No, I'm going to get up. You're right. Okay. Stupid. I don't have anything <laughs> to defend myself, so it's fucking All right. So you get up for 2 AP. What do you want to do next? You have 1 AP left. Um, I can't disengage. Right, maneuvers too. You can't maneuver as two, that's right. You can't do anything. Well, we'll you, can make it. Risk you, can, you can risk an opportunity attack. Punch yeah. it. Punch it, or you could, punch it, or you could uh, <laughs> take it down, or you could uh, bank. Stun it. Yeah. Get all the barrels action. <laughs> you choke it. Dirty, all right, I'm going to try and choke this motherfucker. Okay, so you look up toward her. Ha ha! This Choking. test is challenging. Oh, well, fighting barehanded. Take okay. your athletics test. 37. I am golden, sir. Nice! Choke me, I'll choke It'll you. attempt to resist with a routine athletics test in return, which is yeah, 65% chance. <laughs> Actually, sorry, 75. I'm going to put my knees in the back and everything. 75%. That's a 27. Unfortunately, not. It resists. Good try, though. Yeah. Can't do anything now you're like, oh, shit. Flat-footed. Uh, so Harper already went. My apologies earlier. The painted folk you can hear from the other side of the bridge, uh, and you can see them. You can see scree and rock dropping down like you saw before on behind the model line on the other side where you came from. Uh, Alistair, it's your turn. I will, uh, I'm on the horse. I'm going to. What's the movement of a horse? Uh, so it's nine plus your fellowship bonus. It can depend on the horse, but... Yeah, yeah, I think in this case, it's a palfrey. It's usually six, I believe. Yeah, so six plus your, plus your um, agil- agility, agility bonus, sorry. So six plus AB. All right, that's 12. All right. So, does it take me two APs to move on the horse? It takes two AP to hustle, yes. So you can go twice. Like 24. I don't know that I can do it twice. So but you can charge. You can charge for twice the distance. Yeah. Okay. Which is all three. Might as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, well, charge should get me up pretty close. At least I'll charge towards the. Uh, I'll whip it. Yeah, come on! You hear the hooves kind of thundering across the bridge. Do I see their? Uh, I you, don't think I could probably get in range to attack. Can I? Uh, unfortunately, not. You were still on the bridge at this point. How far did you move? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. On that. So you're about halfway across the bridge at this All point. Right. I'll bank that last one. Okay. Painted folk. 
the one who was previously choking uh, the, the, the giantess, the painted folk, who was choking um, Banneker, uh, who kicked him backwards. Uh, uh, that's right, but it's actually not. It, but uh, were you on the? You weren't on the ground. No, no. And you were on the ground. Okay. It's going to take a step forward, invoking an opportunity attack if you wish to take it. Either one of you. Sure. We'll take it. You have, any, you have weapon? I have a range weapon. Then go ahead. Or, 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 or reach weapon. <laughs> with your, uh, with your, um, Fire and Spirit. Fire and Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Aha! It's we routine test. It. I'll take it too. I'll, I'll, I'll only one person gets it. Routine test oh, is going to be, uh, 58. No. No. Unfortunately not. You, <clears throat> lunge out. The thing just, literally just <laughs> sweeps its leg out trying to take you off your feet. Its test will be uh, 65. I rolled a 27. I need to resist with a challenging coordination test. Okay, 27%. Yeah. And uh, 25 will do it. Nice! The leg kicks at you. <laughs> you step back versus you step back. It comes forward with a with an uppercut for a 70% chance. 29, hit. Okay, I'm going to parry his fist with my sword. Okay, this is going to be a standard test. Standard, it'll make it 60%. And a 72 won't do it. Boom. So you'll suffer 10 plus 17 damage. Okay. <coughs> Seriously wounded <coughs> again. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh. And you are pushed backwards out of the melee. That's powerful blows. <coughs> As he's just being kind of beaten back. And you notice... As you look toward Terwin, he's about two yards away from the edge of the bridge. The other one, who is uh, who who was disarmed from the Morgenstern earlier, who's near you, attempts to snatch the spear out of your hand with a disarm. Okay. This is going to be a 65% chance. 35. You need to resist with a challenging coordination test to hold on to your weapon. Challenging coordination is going to be 39, but I have strong jaw, which I perhaps mentioned earlier, to make sure it's 59. Nice. It's like plus 20 to resist the Nice. And that's a success. Uh, so strong jaw, all perilous stunts? You need, to, you need to clarify that. Okay. I don't think that's true. Might be just a knockout. Yeah, I think it's knockout and stunning blow. Okay. I can tell you real quick right now. What'd you say? What's it called? Strong jaw. Strong jaw. Strong jaw is only for uh, when you resist perilous sense plus twenty base chance. Okay. That is all. So yes. So it is all. Okay. Great. Bring her on the side, man. All right. That's good. Instead, it will uh, at this point attempt to uh, just uh, unleash a flurry of blows for a seventy percent chance to strike. 58. Pow, pow, pow. Dodge. Can't okay. dodge. You can parry, though. Parry, okay. Okay. Uh, attempting to parry this thing's large blows, you got a spear in hand? Yes. I'll make it standard. Okay. Standard. Standard, uh, simple melee. Simple melee is going to be 48% chance to succeed. Do it. Make it happen. And that's 35 success. Nice. As it lunges forward, you. Uh, 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 like using a sharp stick and it kind of it kind of pulls its hands back and doesn't quite make the connection with the blow. However, the other one with the Morgan Stern will simply take will do a called shot, bringing it down over over your head. Seventy percent chance. Thirty-four. It's a hit. No, nope. you suffer ten plus thirteen damage. Oof. Okay, I am seriously wounded. You're seriously wounded. Okay, roll for injury. Add. An additional 1d6 for Vicious. Add an additional 1d6 for its trait, so it's roll 3d6. No. Nope. Okay, that's good. Because <laughs> when it inflicts injuries, it inflicts two, not one. Ooh, that would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's all of them, I believe, at this point. Awesome. So um, that brings us to Elisa. What will you do? Get on the boat. <laughs> she is going to uh, charge towards the boat. Okay. 
And also, um, <laughs> as she does so, she's going to scream back at the giants in a tenth of a litany of hatred. That's already happened. Already yeah, I didn't know we already had that. Like yeah, Banneker did. Oh. Banneker rolled a lucky test. Do you have a skill rank in coordination? Ooh, so you can't quite get on the boat yet. It costs two AP to get up. Well, then I will just go ahead and run instead if I need to. But yay, 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 yay. Will that help if I do run instead of charge? Uh, or is it no. close enough? It doesn't matter. No. Well, it's then, five yards away from you. Oh, oh. well, then I'm just going to walk or whatever. Hustle up. Yeah, and, hustle uh, and climb. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Okay. So your climb is equal to your uh, three plus brown bonus. Plus bronze, so that'd be seven. Climb seven yards up. You're at the top of the ship. Okay. Die, 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 die. She gets at the top of the ship, abandoning the horse. Um, so now, <laughs> Warren, it's your turn. Okay. I can get another uh, horse. Let's see here. I will attempt to disarm again. Disarm what? I thought there was one with a horn's turn. There is, yes. Okay. Challenging test. Challenging test. Did you pick it up? Okay. The other one. There are two Morgan's turns. If one is arm, one is this arm. Yeah. So, uh, the challenging test and this arm is coordination. That's going to be a 39% chance to succeed. And I did not make that. That's 56. Okay. It's a failure. I'm going to do that. Sta uh, standard attack. Routine test to strike. They're oh, big. That's 58. And that's a success with a 16. Roll damage. Damage will be. Eight. Thrice you have struck and thrice you have failed to find purchase with this puny spear against this massive painted folk. Back to last AP. Okay. What are you doing? Get on the boat! Terra, what are you going to do? Uh, You're already disengaged. Yeah, I'm already disengaged. You are two yards away from the very edge of the, right. of the bridge and you find two of these very large imposing painted folk standing almost Side by side, shoulder to shoulder, inching you closer and closer toward it. Okay. Virtually pinning you against a nearby, the nearby edge of the mountain. Behind you is the bridge and the hundred foot crevasse leading off in the river. And these two imposing individuals virtually blocking you off from your allies unless you attempt to somehow get away. Okay. Maneuver. If they're here. The bridge is here. I'm here. I'm going to go around them. Okay. They, you cannot go around them. They are occupying space to, they've got you pinned against the back. Now, if you wish to escape through them, you may make a skill test. Uh, sure. Let's do that. Okay. So, in order to get through them, you'll need to make a successful routine coordination test or standard athletics test. It's up to you. I'm going to do standard athletics. Okay. You kind of... Take a couple steps back and kind of ready to use your your, the, your shoulders. You kind of square up and we get to storm forward to bull rush through them. Okay, so I'm going to have a 51 percent chance and a 30 will succeed. Okay, oh. you break through them for two AP and he emerges on the other side, hustling forward. Okay. What's your move? What's your hustle? Uh, my hustle is six. Okay, you he breaks through the two painted folk and spills out the other side, looking back. And they're kind of like. <laughs> Looking around, painted, painted right, right red and orange. Get on the boat. And so I'll uh, use my last action point to go towards the foot of the boat. Okay. But not. But I'm going to be the last one up. Okay. Fair enough. All right, Banneker. What are you going to do? Uh, boss says to get on the boat. So how far is it away? Five yards. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm leaving everything. You have your pistol, didn't you? Didn't you pick up your pistol? Uh, yeah. Well, your well, your spear's on the ground. Or your bow's on the ground. Grab your bow and run. I can't it's grab two my AP. bow. It's two AP. Two and then run for one, right? Oh, well, move. Get on the boat! I'm going to get on the boat. Okay. So, so I lose my cut to land my... Mark, you mark them off, right? I, 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 I axed them. Okay. So you rush toward the boat, grab a hole of rope, and start running or climbing your way up. Harper! I'll make it. Yeah. What will you do, Harper? Uh, you're still not at the boat, right? Mm -hmm. You're still engaged with one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, do I need to move to and be engaged with him, or am I still at reach? You're at your reach. You're All right. out of way. I'll distract it. You get on the boat. As yeah. I will attempt a takedown on it. Oh, nice. Good idea. So, so 
We'll assume because you have equal height at this point, yeah. it's going to be a, a routine test. Or okay. takedown. Routine takedown, which yeah. is coordination. Busted. Which is 50. That is a 96. <laughs> Oof. So I, <laughs> I, I failed to take down. But uh, and then I will uh, kind of rear back to step back a little bit and then move forward as I will attempt to attack. Okay. It's a routine test. 15. Alright. Alright, so that's going to be 53. That is a 21 success. Nice. You rolled you strike. Uh, roll damage. No, I don't get the advantage for being on a horse because they already equal high. That's right? right. That's right. Okay. Uh, you didn't. You don't gain momentum dice because you didn't. Well, move no, the same no. Turn. Being on a horse, uh, if someone's on foot, they're not also on a horse. I'm normally getting extra. Right. Six. I would say Very probably right. not. I would say not because yeah. they are a right. Giant I would say probably not in this case. Yeah, that's right. But otherwise, normal eight feet high, eight feet high. If it was a normal footman. Yeah, it'd be different. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right. So it'll be 7 plus 2, 9. So oh, that hits. The man's with me hatred. Can't hit the last one. No. 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 Basically, I'm just poking at it, trying to draw its attention. Uh, 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 and trying to provoke its ire. And to provoke its ire, you are. And then I will hustle away as I will attempt to draw it away. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, so it's going to attempt an opportunity attack, obviously. I, uh, oh, yard away unless they have reach. Oh, that's true. Well, to be fair, you can do perilous stunts at reach. Okay. Well, then so, I'll just... So who would have had to move in? That's right. That's okay. right. So then, so one to engage, one to perilous stunt, and then one to attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Call it there. Perfect. So, um, that now brings us to... You hear horn from somewhere beyond the bridge where you came from originally. And you're getting closer and closer. You see Scree and Rubble scrabbling down as they're probably going to be here in just a few moments. Um, Alistair, you're halfway across the bridge. <laughs> keep all, going? All the way around. Yeah, yeah I gotta keep going. Okay. You break across the bridge just a few yards away from the Madeline at this point for 2 AP. Sorry for three of you, my apologies. Sorry. Um, paint a bit. The two that were on uh, uh, Terra one kind of kind of turn around and square up, and they're like, oh, he's back over there. Um, as they will uh, move, they'll hustle forward. Uh, one of them's going to attempt to uh, take him off his feet for a, uh, for a takedown. Are they? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, then I'll take an opportunity attack. All right. Ah! You lunge forward with your weapon. It's a routine test. All right. Sorry, easy, not routine. All right, 63. That's a 62 success. Nice. Roll damage. Four. All right. So, seven plus four is 11. Nice. It is moderately wounded. It doesn't suffer moderate injuries, so uh, you can skip that. And that's the battery. So, um, it is going to, of course, come forward and attempt to take, turn off of his feet for 65% chance. That's a 40, it's a hit. You can resist with a challenging coordination test of yourself. Okay, 27. And a 45 will make, make me prone. Okay. <coughs> you hold on to your sword, fortunately, and you're kind of amid the splinters of your shield where it struck before. And then as it kind of takes you off your feet, it kind of raises its boot up to stomp down with a melee attack, with a melee attack, uh, which is an 80% chance because you're on the ground. 91. <laughs> but I have one misfortune you point do. left. You do. How think, bad do you want to kill it? I think I'm going to take it. Uh, really? Uh, it's an 80% <laughs> chance to hit. All right, let's see what happens. 100, a critical <laughs> failure. Suddenly, Terra would whoop, kips up on his feet and gets an opportunity attack, lunging forward with his sword. <laughs> it was a trap. It strike. It's an easy test. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Right. Oh. Please crit. All right. Please crit. And a 69 will succeed. All right, roll damage. <laughs> oh, I roll a critical failure. <laughs> uh, one plus seven is eight. Eight. Ooh. 
Unfortunately, you camp on your feet, and unfortunately, can have you quite have the momentum that you hope to have, and it kind of just That's kind all of right. makes you a thin just slice. But happier to be on my feet. Does not find purchase. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, however, as this all kind of unfolds, the other one hustles forward and comes in with a stunning blow from from beside Terwin. Uh, which is a 65% chance of success. A 29 will hit you to resist with a challenging toughness test. Okay, so 51%. Please stay there, uh, 23 will succeed. Nice, you're not stunned, and he follows it back up with a vicious backhand. With a 70% chance to hit. That's a 95. No misfortune points left. No fortune points left. This is kind of the end of the road. There's one with a a Morganstern still right by you. This is gonna try to kind of take it. It's gonna take the, the the end of it, kind of sweep you off your legs for a 65% chance to succeed. That's a critical success. 11. Sweeping worn to the ground, <coughs> dropping to the ground, holding on to the spear, and then takes its foot and stomps down for an 80% chance to succeed to hit you. And I rolled a 76 as you suffer a total of 10, 21, 23 damage. So I can't dodge it? Uh, you're, yes, you can, as a matter of you fact. Can to, yeah. You can absolutely attempt to. What's the difficulty? Uh, <laughs> arduous. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. Yes, it's arduous. <laughs> arduous dodge. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be a 19% chance. Okay. Of can you roll out of the way? <laughs> That's a four. That's a <laughs> oh shit! Four. <laughs> there's this big boom, like there's this whole, there's like it stomps like right in the dirt, and screen rubble go up, and suddenly Warren <laughs> rolls away with a four percent. You barrel rolled out. And, uh, barrel roll, Elisa, it's now your turn. Elisa <laughs> don't know what the fuck to do. All this. What will you do? Because you were on the. I oh, am up top. Oh, she's up top. I am up top, but I'm not going to narrow, and I'm going to attempt to uh, go for the ones that are on Carolyn. Okay. Uh, so at this height, it's 25 feet up, okay. which is, Medium. call it five yards. Or sorry, uh, my apologies. What am I thinking? Um, it's, uh, yeah, five yards. 25 feet. So five yards. yards. Five yards. Yeah, so it's 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 25. Three. So it's it's five. Sorry. Let me, let me recalculate this for a moment. Um, so it's three foot tall. seven, eight, eight yards up and five yards out. So 13 yards total. Oh, so I'm fine. Nine plus eight, I'm 16. Okay. Hard, hard, hard yeah. three. <laughs> oh, it's still hard? Yeah, absolutely. Then Sorry, I guess, it's, I guess it's challenging because you got high ground. Okay, and yeah. I'm going to aim for 10. It's so your, so it's your first me. standard. The loose arrow. Puts me at 52. <laughs> yeah. right. Take it. Die! Finally, the standard test. Ought six will work. All right, that's a hit. Roll damage on additional d6 for high ground. Ugh, one. No, Roll additional d6 oh. for high ground. So that's five plus. No, that's not going to work. Eight. Okay. Zero. <laughs> Snap. I try. It bites into the leather, but it does nothing to, to find birds. Aha! Um. We now go to Warren. You roll away somehow, <laughs> avoiding 21 damage. <laughs> I'm going to stand up. All right, that's 2 AP. I'm going to make the last damage. Oof! Run. You come up onto your feet. I, I'm, I'm engaged. You're engaged, yeah. Fair. That'd be dumb. Mm -hmm. Aw, went the way. Yep. <laughs> so, Terrilyn, what do you do? Uh, you are at the bottom of the rope of the ship, and it's moving out of the way of you. Do you want to keep pace? Yeah, I'll keep pace with the ship. It's 3 AP. Okay. Okay. The oxen are moving. The ship is rolling. It's going through the winding hills. It starts to kind of dive down deep where the, where the ravine kind of opens up down below. And you can see there's kind of thick trees beginning to grow like these, these tall pinewood trees reaching toward the sky, shivering in the wind. Now we go to Banneker. What will you do? Can I snatch her bow and take a shot? 
if she lets me. Let me see that real quick. I'd allow it. Sure. Um, so I'm going to assume that the movement of the Madeline and everything happens in Harper's turn. So Harper, we'll, we'll assume that they're moving at a 16. So yes, you may absolutely do so. Okay. Well, then I am going to try uh, to do... Well, that's that's fine. Because you're on the boat, right? I'm going to try to do a takedown on the one that's on him. Do you have uh, the appropriate talent to allow you to do that? I surely do. What's the talent called? It is called uh, Take Him Down. Nice! Okay. <clears throat> you lose it. It's going to be a... Did it's going to be... No, you have arrows. So. Yeah, yeah. I have plenty of them. You have height, but doing something like this is a little tricky, so it's going to be a challenging test. Okay, well, all right, so snatch for one, mm -hmm. load for one. That's right. Attack for one. Attack for one. Perilous snatch. Perilous snatch. Perilous snatch, all right. Okay, you said it's challenging. Yes. And, and it'll be simple melee instead of coordination. Simple melee instead of coordination. So, uh, oh, I have no skill ranks right now, so that would be a 45. A 25 does it. Nice! Okay, so let's see if it can resist. It's a routine test. It's only a 45% chance to succeed. 69. You hit it right in the ankle. And it falls backwards. Run! <laughs> Get to the chopper! I mean, bone! As it is now prone on the ground. Run! Okay. Runs for the are chopper! Are you safe now, Terra One? I know you were running along. Side the uh, Madeline, he won't get on the damn boat. He wants to be the last one on. I can't so, get on the boat now. To clarify, to clarify, it is now thirty yards away. <laughs> what? The boat? The is? ship and the oxen, and it's rounding oh, the bend, sure. and your allies are no longer in sight. Okay. Alistair, on the opposite to side of the bridge, you can see four more of these people painted head to toe in blue and red wood across the bridge from where you came from originally. Right. You are pacing with the ship. What do you want to do? I can't catch up to it. I'm just pacing with it. Um, I see the one that he knocks to the ground with the arrow. Yep. Can I charge over and trample it? <laughs> Absolutely, you can. <laughs> sure can <Okay>. trample. <laughs> okay, uh, it's going to be an easy test. Alright, what am I rolling on? What's the uh, it's going to be an easy ride. ride. Easy Let's rider. Let's ride. Let's ride. Ride. Easy ride. Easy rider. 59. 69% chance. 53 is a success. Nice. Roll a 2d10 and add your agility bonus. Trample the red one. Eight, ten, sixteen uh, points of uh, whatever. Yeah, nice! Much. It's grievously wounded as you storm over this thing. Roll 3d6 chaos dice. Alright, 3d6 chaos They land on six, it's unable to move. Six! six. I got a six. Alright, well you managed to... I got two you, sixes. Right? Oh, wow. Wow. You, tra hey. you trample over the, uh, the giantess, one of the painted folk... And she is unable to move completely, and she's still grievously wounded. She's actually prone and unable to move. <laughs> uh, you are now beside the ship. <laughs> All right. So that means next turn, um, can. you can hop on. Uh, so, I'm Looney Tunes. first I'm off, the, uh, <laughs> the the red giant test, the painted folk cannot get up. The one who has no go. weapon who tried to storm over you... Um, unfortunately, your weapon did not find purchase, but try to disarm you. You're back on your feet, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my apologies. Sorry, I'm trying to take. Hold on a second. I'm trying to take collect, collect what's going on here for a moment. Okay. okay. The green, the orange one, still has armed with the Morgan turn. Okay. So Harper, what will you do? So the one that was engaged with uh, Warren was the one that you took down. Yes. That's right. You were now 30 right. yards away from the ship. Right. So what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to. I guess I would have a like a. I, basically, what I want to do is try to grab Nick's character, put him behind my horse, and then so grab Warren. Yeah, grab Warren, and okay. right off. Three AP. So two to get up, yep. and then one to hustle. Okay. You grab a hold of, of uh, Warren and throw him over the back of the horse and start to... <laughs> right away. Which leaves who amid the 
No, he was keeping pace. He's keeping pace. So we're, already, we're already on. That's right. So only Alistair is left behind. So here's what we can do. Well, Alistair's, no, Alistair's just keeping, keeping pace, too. So. No, hold on. Alistair's the only one not on the ship. Oh, so okay. what we're going to do from here is we're going to move to a chase scene next week on episodes right. 40 and 41 of Queen of Members. Thank you all for attending. Thank you for your patronage, everybody. Yeah, thank you. We will continue the chase of the Painted Folk after the Battle Line through Blackfire Pass in the Stead Wall. What are reward points, everybody? Uh, no, Did we get any corruption yeah. tonight? No. Uh, no, no, I was. Yeah, there should have been. Super close. Uh, who suffered? So I use a fate point, didn't you? Don't you uh, or no, do not. You do. Because you didn't go in capacity, right? I didn't actually, right? yeah. not actually yeah. go in capacity. No. So there's, there's no, there's no um, corruption for using fate points. Okay. Well, then, yeah, we're good. Nobody it's used any injuries. laudanum? Injuries. No. You do. No? Yeah. no? That's right. Yeah. So, no. maybe next week we'll uh, get a chance to roll the. Wheel oh, of Corruption! Well, it would, oh, have been, two. it would have been two, two. but everybody gets, a, everybody gets a order rank this week anyhow, right. because nobody suffered any corruption, so... Good job, guys. Alright. <laughs> See you all next week. Yes. Thanks, guys. Bye! Thank you. Thanks, Bye. guys. <laughs> right? Three. So we gain so something. Migos. So great, uh, what? Advanced. We get an advance.